Hello, everybody. I hope everybody's doing wonderfully today. If you happen to be in my neck of the woods, it is very, very windy. It is about 60 miles per hour, uh, up to 60 mile an hour winds. I was just out in it. It's certainly at least 40 because it's difficult to stand still, even when you want to. And uh, the skies are a an odd shade of brown from all of the dust and the dirt that's being kicked up. And yet somehow I enjoy it more than I probably would a sunshine day. So maybe that's the same thing for you. Maybe there's a an odd circumstance that has encapsulated your day or maybe even your week. And maybe despite the fact that to most others it might look like it's insurmountable or abstract uh, or excuse me uh, or or nasty maybe you found some abstract beauty in it and maybe that's what's carrying you through to the next and if so I say kudos to you that's exactly what this kind of uh, space this kind of room is about is making the fun out of the abstract um I usually start these out by saying uh, to everybody that I... Uh, I usually start these out by saying thank you to everybody who is, has and otherwise will uh, participate in these, and I, this is no different. If you're interested in seeing content while I'm not live that I would condone or that I would say is good top-tier content, I'd highly recommend checking out some of the channels that I have linked below. That includes Thumb Brothers at Twitch and YouTube, Viddy Plays and Viddy's Gaming Videos. Viddy's been going through Resident Evil 5 co-op, and there's some really cool stuff to take a look at there because most of the Resident Evil games are not co-op, but in this one you can play as Chris Redfield and Shave Alomar. What a cool little concept there. And so he's actually been playing through on Viddy Plays. I highly recommend checking that out. We have Omega Ace Gaming, who plays all kinds of great and odd eccentricities, as well as the games that he's interested in, and I definitely recommend checking those out. I think he streams twice a week, once or twice a week. I try to jump on whenever I can. But he's a couple hours behind me, so sometimes he's streaming and it's, you know, one in the morning here or something like that, so. Uh, and then, of course, Ash. Ash has some upcoming stuff coming, and the best way to keep in tune with that is to subscribe to that channel so that he can put things out and keep following him. If what I do in this kind of retro space isn't necessarily your speed, maybe you're a little bit more orientated towards a specific game or something a little bit newer, I highly recommend checking out the Siren Ivy's channel, who's my beautiful wife. She's live right now, and she has begun streaming again. And uh, I think she's streaming some Sims 4 content over there, which is a decidedly newer game than what I'll be playing today. So I do hope that um, you find something... Either which way, <laughs> um, in these streams. Let's see here. The last time we were here, we were playing. Um, let's just try this real quick. Last time we were here, we were playing Cuphead, and the reason we're not playing Cuphead is uh, because uh, my wife wanted to stream on her channel, playing her Sims. Um, so we'll switch kind of back and forth between these two. I hope that's okay with you. And I want to say a thank you to those of you who come in uh, ahead of time. Of course, I'll say thank you at the end as well. But those of you who also watch this live, uh, who watch this live, but also those of you who watch this after the fact, I definitely appreciate you for popping in and giving it a watch. Let's go ahead and switch things over. Hey, Bogus, how are you doing? I hope you're doing wonderfully today. It is a crazy day today, but nothing bad, nothing bad at all. Um, it looks like, let's see if we've dropped some real quick. Let's do a quick little reset there. 
Now, we were having issues with the network. I don't hope, I hope that we won't have any issues with the network this time. We did try to figure that out, but today again is very windy. By very windy, I mean 60 mile an hour winds. So, um, we're going to try and keep things as best as we possibly can, um, live and uninterrupted. But if I do end up running into a few issues, please forgive me there. We're going to go back to playing this game, Shadow of the Colossus. We almost had a problem. Because when I went to uh, when I went back into playing this game, uh, it did it didn't say or it said I hadn't saved anything, and I was like, oh no, tell me I'm not gonna have to do these fights again. Um, but it looked like that I was able to manually load that save uh, that from the progress that I had made last time. So we're we're back where we should be. Uh, I'm still not gonna be very good. <laughs> okay, I have to. I have to remember all of the controls again. There was like a, uh, a vibration there. Okay, alright. I turn my headphones down a little bit. It's This is a very loud game. It seems to be coming through very loudly in my uh, headphones. Hopefully it's not terribly too loud for you guys. Okay. I'll go shower, try not to make too much progress while I'm gone. I don't think that'll be a problem. Uh, <laughs> without your guys' help, I think I'm fairly useless on this, but I'll, I'm having fun. Alright, now I have to remember how to... So this actually, it looks like the there's a little meter down at the bottom that's actually being used up when I do this. I can't tell if that's what's happening. Okay. Alright, so now I have to remember... Okay, so that's crouch. That's nothing, really. Okay, and then I think... That's my sword, that's my bow. How did I call? That's hit. Uh, triangle was calling, right? There he is. Okay. There we go. Okay, I... Uh, I have to remember how to make the horse go. Um, okay, we're going that way. Um, that does the same thing from the horseback? There we go. It's kind of like the game Gun. Now I remember. Not really well, but kind of. There we go. Hey, my good friend and his viewers, who I unfortunately have to know. <laughs> Welcome in, Ash. I hope you're doing wonderfully. It's kind of in that... Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's keep going, Aggro. Yeah. You doing well? I hope so. I... We did Cuphead last time, and then Anna uh, wanted to stream on hers this time, so we'll probably kind of do taking turns every other one. Uh-oh. No, no, no. i got to get that salamander. Wait. Is that it right there? It isn't. Where did that salamander go? There we go. All right, cool. But I, I didn't get it. Is that it? Okay, I guess that was it. It could have just as easily been any of these other... Okay, cool. We, we got it that time. That time I know we got it. Play a real game like Two Worlds. I, I once I'm done with these games, I will probably put a new poll up. Eventually, I will put a poll up that says "Bad Games Too." Okay, wait, Agro, where are you going? Agro. I don't understand. Are, is the Colossus just right there? 
Okay, let's let's go this way. Okay. I don't think I got it. Hold on. Now I gotta go get another another lizard. Wait, hold on. Oh, there are multiple. Okay, that's one. Let's see. I think each time I do this, I get more uh, grip strength, is it? That I get? Where did that other one go? Is that Was that it right there? I was playing some Jedi Fallen Order again the other day. Why does the main character run like he's got two chicken legs on a tightrope? The motion capture is a little clunky on that one, I think, yeah. The, um... I'll shoot one into the ground for a second. The, um... um they, they, I think, uh, for, for me personally, Fallen Order was good. Don't get me wrong. But I think Survivor fixes almost every gripe that I... Because I feel like Jedi Fallen Order was kind of clunky. Uh, like, the sliding mechanics were kind of clunky. And I feel like that it, f it felt like the uh, that there was some intentional clunk to it, so to speak. I don't know where that... There he is. There we go. I feel like there was some kind of intentional clunk to it as well because of the... Um, I feel like that they wanted it to kind of emulate the the Dark Souls, um, but Survivor, I I absolutely loved. I think they fixed a lot of it. I haven't played Survivor. The amount of games I have to play are insane. It's it's whatever whatever is fun. I I, I had opted. Um, I I put it up to a vote as to whether or not to play um, Survivor on the channel, uh, but I also recognize that it's fresh enough that some people may not want me to spoil things. It does have a really good story though to it. Um, Again, and I wouldn't be playing it this time. I wouldn't be. I played it on Grandmaster on the. I have it on PlayStation Five and on Xbox. And um, I played it on Grandmaster on the PlayStation Five. I would not do that for the playthrough here. I'd probably just play on Jedi Knight. That way, I could do well on it. <laughs> he says Survivor's nice, and you're like, pan him. <laughs> It is, he's not wrong. It is a good game uh, that you should absolutely play. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm going to, I don't know if I feel, do I, should I go on? Oh yeah, it's pretty big, I guess. Okay, fine. We're going to go horseback. Horse, come on, aggro. Let me jump on you, man. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Survivor's really good. It's got a good story. I think it's got a better story. I think the controls are solid. I think what you start out with is a lot nicer. Um, I, it's, it, it just fixes every... It just fixes everything, I think, as far as uh, issues that I had with... Or almost everything. I think there may be one or two little gripes that I have here and there. <laughs> I've just ate some food and now I have a stomach ache. If I die tonight, I want you all to know I never loved you. <laughs> Oh, what? Wrong, wrong thing. Okay, we're still headed in the right direction. I'm sorry that your stomach is hurting. I hope that it's not actually hurting. I hope that's just a part of the bit. But if it is actually hurting, I'm sorry that it is. Uh, uh, Kiari Mundi is not in Survivor. At least I don't remember him in Survivor. I don't want to spoil anything. There, there's some really cool stuff. <laughs> I, say, I don't think Kiati Mundi is... Uh, I don't remember Kiati Mundi in it, though, no. Alright, I'm off you, aggro. Okay, so now I've got to figure out how to take this one down. I can't say anything. Ash, that would be... I can't spoil anything for anybody. I mean, I guess technically I could, but I'm not going to. Okay, so now... 
You've got this beautiful thing here. Whoever designed these colossi? It is, they just did such a good job. They, these things are beautiful. I'm joking to any sensitive humans. Oh, I figure, I, I, maybe I'm wrong, I, I figured, I figured, um, people have been able to get a, a, a taste for your sense of humor. I could be wrong. I, I again, I, you've, you've been on my, you've, you and I have gotten to talk and get along for years now, so, so I, I guess it could be not, not a, not apparent to some. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we have around here. It looks like, I feel like I could climb some of these, but I don't feel like I could jump up high. The stream title and description already hitting me with the existential questions. <laughs> right, Vidi's okay. Remember your mission. Your cover is a random guy in chat. It is. A, I thought it was a good question for the game, but I do agree with you that it's not a bad question to ask as a whole. Some people who believe in simulation theory a ask the question, am I the main character? Okay, so now I have to figure out... Okay, that was a little close. I have to figure out how to get up this thing. Can I... These are ridged. Can I grab them? No. So I have to find a way to put this guy closer to the ground. I saw that his mark was on the back of his neck. His uh, seal was on the back of his neck. Those look like things I could climb, but they're not nearly low enough. And his feet are too are too pointed. I can't see that that would help get get him down at all either. So I have to I have to think he's going to have something under here maybe. I would th oh I would think under all this armor, right? Uh, or under all to hide thyself underground. Underground. How do I hide myself underground? Let's see. <laughs> it's Legend of the Locker of Time. Oh, he knows where I am. It says one strategy to consider is hiding yourself underground. Where can I hide myself under the ground? I was going to say, is he making horse noises at aggro? But I think that was just aggro. His shadow of the Colossus, how small guys feel when trying to conquer it. <laughs> just so bad the game is helping him. Let's all... Hey, I mean, go for it. I have no idea. I still don't know. I, it says under the ground, so I assume that there's... This is underground, right? But how do I hide underground? I don't see a hole or anything. <laughs> this mission's harder than I thought. I could, I could, maybe if I could see some brush, I could hide there. But that's not underground. That's still. Where is? How? How could I hide under? Ah, oh, maybe. Maybe. What is this we have here? Question is now that I'm hiding under the ground, technically. <laughs> what does that do? Okay, this is cool. <laughs> 
the vo it, well, it's not quite as frequent as Navi, and it's certainly not as high pitched, thankfully. So it looks unhappy, but I don't think it knows where I am. The underground thing is a bit weird from what I remember. I, again, remember, I'm I'm relearning this basically all, um, all over again. Since I, apart from the, the time I played this week before last, I haven't played this since it came out. Okay, so I don't... I don't know. Do each of these just lead up to different surface... exits? It looks like it. Kotaku is crumbling, and it's just funny to me. Um, I don't know. I haven't followed, in all honesty. I used to like uh, Kotaku, and... I mean, this was a long time ago, right? This is way back in the Golden Age, over a decade ago. Um, but I used to like that kind of stuff, and now I don't know... I don't know what's happening to it. Okay. So I'm hiding under the ground. What is it? It, it? it doesn't seem to have gained me any advantage, though. Um, I thought it was already crumbling, or maybe people just didn't like it anyway and took it this long to crumble. <laughs> I remember years ago, Kotaku, uh, Persona 5 intro lyrics. The Persona 5 intro lyric in Smash Ultimate, not deservedly got flack for it. Okay, so I don't... I'm hiding underground. He doesn't like that I'm down here. He knows that I'm down here. Is there maybe like a central elevator thing that I could go to while he's banging his head around and climb up on? Maggie says, hey, 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 Maggie, how are you doing? Hope you're doing wonderfully today. I am underground trying to figure out how to get on this horsey. Welcome back, Bogus. I hope the shower was refreshing. No, that's a nice view. Hey, Thumb, how are you doing? I hope you're doing wonderfully as well. I know nothing. I don't understand. I can hide. Oh, he, okay, so he kind of laid down when I when I hid there. Kind of, but I don't think there was anything that I could climb. I'm doing lovely. That's wonderful. I'm so glad to hear that. We have 60 mile an hour winds here. And uh, what I was saying is the the sky is a, a, a tinged brown. and um, But abstract beauty and all that, I kind of like it better than I would a sunny day. Mostly because I can't really have sunlight. That, I guess, would be prescription number one. See, I don't understand. He doesn't lay his head down or anything. Be careful with that. There's a timer. Huh. There's not really a key. Oh, I'm glad. I can run 85, not a lot of people know. 85 miles an hour? That's 15 miles an hour faster than a cheetah. Well, that's actually 25 miles an hour than faster than the average cheetah, but I've heard that there is some potential that they could go up for... Um, what's this, Colossus? Yeah, this is number four. Yes. Ahoy. The key to this... You can't, you can't give me key hints if there's no key. Come on, guys. Okay, so now do I get to... See, he's angry, and I'm okay. I, I get that, but he's not doing anything that I would consider to be... Game theory, how fast did Colossus move? That would be a good question. It's no longer going to be MatPat telling you, though, so you have to trust into the, in the math of someone new. Since he gave his whole goodbye spiel, which apparently everybody was very sad about.
Okay, so I kind of see how this underground thing is laid out, but I don't see what... I'm trying to see what he does. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Let's just go... <laughs> Okay, so that feels like something I should be doing, right? That's what feels right. Oh, please don't. Come on. There we go. My goodness sakes. This thing's going to be able to shake like a dog. But oh, why am I all the way up here? Come on. There we go. The music is so good, yes. Come on, hold on. Oh, even the big stabs, though. He just does- he goes down so little. Oh my goodness, there's another one up there. Oh. That one goes up a lot quicker. Okay, there we go. But he's got, like, a little, uh, thing that I can kinda... Did he- oh, did he jump? Oh, no, he didn't jump. There we go. <laughs> the main character is evil. The Colossuses didn't hurt. No, didn't hurt anyone. It is- plural is Colossi. In the same way that, um... In the same way that a podium is singular, but to have multiple would be a- would be podia. I think he was just intentionally being <laughs> grammatically. It's Colossus. Uh, uh, uh. It's the same thing with uh, with octopus, right? Uh, with octopus, you have a lot of people that call them octopi, but pi is Latin and octo is Greek. So for it to be properly uh, done all the way through, it would need to be octopod or octopode, which is the appropriate multiple or plural. It, which is the appropriate plural of, um, the appropriate Greek plural of, uh, that word. My goodness. It didn't take any of my, uh, grip strength when I was up there because he had the little lip on him, so I didn't really have to worry about him shaking me off. I appreciate. <laughs> I like your sense of humor, Ash. I, senses of humor are are like flavors of anything. No one is for everyone, but it's definitely fun when you find that which you can enjoy. We have a Greek person here, have we? Uh, here in the chat? Are, or are you saying that you are from, from Greece, Miss Maggie? Oh, not you. Okay. <laughs> I'm Greek. I love you. I love you. Okay. Hmm. Greece seems like such a really, uh, such a lovely place. But that would tell, if we have a Greek person here, a person from Greece here, then I think I have to know who it is. Because at present, there are only five people in the chat, and I know where three of them are from, and you have said that you are not. Aha! You are Greek. Well, wonderful. That is so cool. I think, from what I've seen of Greece, it is beautiful. I, I haven't seen the entirety of it, of course, so I couldn't tell you. Um, but I'm sure you could tell me. I'm African. You are not African. You're Czech. Okay, wonderful. I'm Time Lord. I am the Doctor. I am eternal. 
Thy next foe, it casts a colossal shadow. Of course it does. Of course it does, because it is a colossus. Don't discriminate. I'm African. I didn't discriminate. I just also know that you don't happen to be from Africa. <laughs> Why was Greece mentioned? I wasn't paying attention. I was stating that um, in a lot of places of the world, especially those that speak English as the dominant language, you have the word octopus, right? And octopus comes from Greek origin. And most people, at least in where I live and the, the, the most of the United States of America, I will say, say that the appropriate plural is octopi, but pi is a Latin suffix. Octo is a Greek prefix. Octopode or octopode, however you want to say that, P-O-D-E, is the appropriate Greek um, uh, suffix to that Greek origin word. Um, but you don't... <laughs> You, you don't, most people don't hear that. And so that's why I was saying that is that's a Greek prefix, octo, right? And it's why we use that still in our, I, I said, I, I've said this before. This is th random things, right? Random things like the days of the week are named after, uh, Germanic and Greece, uh, and, uh, not Greek. I'm sorry, not Greek, uh, Germanic and, um, Norse, right? Thor, Thursday, Thursday, Thorsdagar. Wednesday, Wodensdagger. Tuesday, Tiersdagger. Moondagger, Friedagger, Frigg's Day. Right? And then our um, months take a lot of inspiration from Greco Roman, uh, which is where we get July and August, Julius and Augustus, Caesar or Caesar. And then we get, uh, but it was actually Quintilus and Sextilus. And then September, which is 7, October, which is 8, November, Nov, 9, December, DEC, 10. Because that would demarcate that. And then, of course, 11, 12 would be January, February, and that would demarcate the end of winter. What an interesting thing, isn't it? Because you didn't measure it in four seasons back then. You measured it in... Um, you didn't measure it in, seasons, uh, in four seasons. You measured it in two summers and winters. Anyway... Sherlock Holmes Peach solve this mystery. Oh wait, I don't have Princess Peach. Short. I had to either. I I I want to know if it's worth getting. Carmen San Diego and Time taught me about the Norse roots of the day months. Oh really? I did. I don't think I played that one. I've played a lot of Carmen San Diego in my day, but I don't think I've ever played the End Time one. I'll have to take a look at that. In Czech, the word November sounds really really medieval. If you translate it, leaf fall. Oh. Ah. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> I would, I would, I, well, I couldn't probably say it if you typed it out. I would, I'd probably give it a try, but I doubt that I would do well. Okay, so I'm looking for bodies of water. This way. All right. We are on our way, Agro. Li so the way that I would say that word is either listopad or listopad. L listopad, I think, yeah. would be the way that I would see that. It's like Russia. Russia. <laughs> yeah. Which I've probably messed that up entirely. Do not... <laughs> The very li listopad or li uh, listopad. Okay, more that way. It's like ah uh, instead of eh. Okay. English is an unusual language insofar as that it has. Agro, I don't. I understand that we were averting the cliff, but I was not steering you off of it. But English is also not the most phonetic of languages, which is interesting because <laughs> um, there's there's a type of writing, and I can't I, I'm trying to think of it, but it's it's completely a phonetic type of writing. Oh, wait, uh, do we go this way? I guess so. Um, yeah, I was just say it's, it's interesting, um, but English is not a very phonetic language, 
it, you can say the word thorough, or not thorough, you can say, the th uh, some people say thorough, I guess that's correct, but through, and through can be R-E-W, which seems somewhat phonetic, but then uh, you can also say through as in O-U-G-H, and they have two separate meanings, but they're pronounced essentially the same. And then you also have error pronunciations like pin and pen. Ah. Anyway. I like languages, so I try to be not completely awful at them. How, how did I pray? Oh, it was that button. English, to be fair, is actually a strange... It's incredibly strange. You're incredibly correct. But it, it seems to do well for what we need, <laughs> generally speaking, those of us who speak English. Um, don't insult my people. <laughs> Language is a virus from outer space. I speak English, and it's strange sometimes, you see. Agro or... Japanese feels somewhat natural for me to pronounce because it's phonetically similar to Czech or something. I'm not a linguist. No, but you are. You do seem to be naturally talented. I used to be good at speaking Japanese, however, uh, reading it, however. <sighs> reading is painful. I have never tried to read kanji. Um, I, I've never tried that. Um, I do like languages, but I find my fascination to my fascination recently to be with mostly dead languages. I enjoy Latin. I enjoy um, um, Old Norse, Old English, and it, and and they both and they give great um, insight to why we have. What we, well, a good example of this, right? I, I haven't seen Family Guy in a long time, but I, I'm, so I'm sure this is probably going to skirt past some who haven't watched the older episodes, but there was a running gig, I guess, where uh, Stewie would say, uh, put very heavy emphasis on the H in in when he was talk when he says cool whip is it cool whip? He puts a very very heavy emphasis on the H you will die and uh, Brian keeps asking him, why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? Um, the reason that is, is because in Old English, the H used to come before the W. The word what was H-W-A-T, what. So the emphasis was on the H because the H was first. And so it stands to reason that that's probably the case in some other instances, like whip, which is now whip, or which would have been whip. Anyway, I'm sorry. I went off on a random tangent of something that I found interesting, but I don't imagine it's particularly interesting objectively. Um, I'm starting to know bits of Korean as my other half. Oh, that's wonderful. Can you speak a little Latin if you can? Uh, I don't know if I can speak it remarkably well. I have a whole book of Latin poetry, which I enjoy to read, but uh, I love the, uh, and I love the ceremony, the, the, the prayer. Christus vivit, Christus regnat, Christus abamne molotot defendat. That kind of, the ritualistic Latin, which is intentionally made to have the language sound beautiful. But my tongue isn't as gifted, perhaps, as the words would need them to be. To pronounce them appropriately. Okay, so, am I meant to swim over there? And then... I am, maybe. Let's try it. Futurama, but not on the channel. <laughs> I, that's true. <laughs> Crazy contraption is speaking French. I see the version of French that also that is uh, the uh, uh, that was a, a complete blunder. The version of, of French that is spoken around the area. Can I? The version of, of French that's spoken in this area of the world is also different than international French, which I think is interesting. Um. In, in asking in French, uh, in, uh, international French, right? You would say, um, parlez-vous français? And you kind of roll in the back. But you don't do that in the French that we speak around here. You would say something to the effect of, you say, uh, parlez-vous français? Or you would say, um, um, but, but in ours, you would ask, right? And you would ask for it, où je parle français? And you don't roll at the back of the tongue. You roll at the front of the tongue. So, où je parle français instead of parlez-vous français. It's very, it's very interesting. And it, the, so the state that I'm in, there are four very major languages that are spoken. English, um, Spanish, 
French and German, high German, low German within certain communities, but high German in specific areas. So anyway, anyway, I'm sorry. I lang- I love language. I'm not perfect at it. I just enjoy language. I only know Latin from five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not fair. And and then also the word Sephiroth. Uh, what's the streamer on about? Language, my friend. Language. The mission is confirmed. All of the speaking in chat in Latin. Take note. Oh, I wish. I heard the R in Czech is insanely hard to pronounce for people who speak English as their first language. I'll listen to it and see. It's You're very probably correct. Now let me see. Now I got it. Now I have to... Now I've, I'm going to listen to it. Can I? Um... Do new reviewers know the interesting fact about your phone? I think it's the most die-hard fan thing. <laughs> I don't think they do, but yeah, I'll, I'll say. Um, I did also look up the English translation of One Winged Angel, apart from, of course, the name Sephiroth. It's very broken English, but it's still very cool. I'm curious about the phone. So, fun fact, I'm a very long... Let me... I'm a very long-time fan of Star Wars. I've been a fan of Star Wars for decades, and I remain a fan of Star Wars. I'm much more a fan of old Star Wars than I am of new Star Wars, but I, I like all Star And I liked, like, let me be very clear, I didn't like the movie 7, 8, 9 very much. I did like Andor. I did like Kenobi, even though I had my criticisms. I did like Ahsoka, even though I have my criticisms. Um, I loved Tales from the Jedi, and I think Clone Wars and Bad Batch are really good. Um, point being, I'm a humongous fan. My phone is the Galaxy Note 10 Star Wars Edition that they came out with way back when. The case on the back of my phone are TIE Fighters flying out of the Death Star carved in wood that is placed on the back of my phone, so I have a wooden case. But if you happen to send me a message, any of the messages that you have sent me are in Arabesh, which is a written la- the written language of Star Wars. Now, it's not spoken. It's only written. But my phone is in its entirety, YouTube, applications, messages, anything that I have in its entirety is in Arabesh, which is that I have to read it in the Star Wars language. Um, and that's, that's, that's the truth. That's the truth of the matter. Talking about France before going to Paris, I heard French people were very xenophobic and didn't like English, and I expected going there and seeing the rudest people imaginable, but they were really nice. I don't know. I, I had never, I've never been to France. The, um, people that are down here, uh, are not from France, French speakers. They're uh, a, a subsect that branched off several, several years ago, and they're incredibly nice. Um, we, we have different versions of it, but Cajun and Creole who speak Cajun French. You've said that, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do indeed. I, I love Star Wars. While those in Paris preferred me and my family to speak French, they were all very nice all around. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it does, it's not, it's not, I think it's ridiculous to say, hey, can you meet me halfway? I only understand a little bit, you know, that kind of thing. Dear Lord. <laughs> Luke Skywalker uses cell phones. He doesn't. He might, actually. Um, Wander here is like, well, can I continue my mission? The person- <laughs> That's true. Um, when I see it, I see it in size. Yeah. That's it. It's not, it, but it doesn't take me very long to learn a written language if it is... Um, so, to learn a written language, if there is a, a, a close to one-to-one component, which is to say there are 26 letters in the... Uh, in our alphabet, right? The English alphabet, the one where, and I know the al- English alphabets, but anyway, there, there, there are 26 language, uh, 26 letters in that. And then the variations, of course, of lowercase and uppercase, but there's not really anything complicated in there. We don't use diagraphs. We don't use double O diagraphs. We don't use CH, TH, TZ, any of those diagraphs. And so because we don't use any of those diagraphs, um, it's very easy. And so if we have languages like, for example, Old Norse runic, which is known as Futhark, I can read Elder Futhark very easily. Um, and the same thing applies to Star Wars language, uh, Orabesh, because there's one-to-one language, except for they use diagraphs, which were easy for me to learn because I do use diagraphs. French people are evil. So the year 3000 onward, French was a dead language. Future Rama taught us that. It's true. Um, I hope it's not a dead language. It's a beautiful language, and the origin for many, of many, 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 many of the words that we use in English and phrases that we still use, which are incredibly, uh, which are entirely unchanged French, like faux pas, which is one that I've used and fairly frequently. And uh, there was one point where people were upset that I used that because they spoke English, and I said, that's that's is, that's fine. But I'm, <laughs> I think it fits what I need it to fit. 
We have to be very uh, lucky that these things all have fur for us to grasp on. Or we would be in, v in lots of trouble. Oh, this one is beautiful. This is one of my favorite so far. I have no idea what in the world I'm going to do to get on that one's back, though. Okay, so I assume... <laughs> Matrix Reloaded, that villain or whatever, said the French is the best language. He did, the Merovingian, yes. He makes a comment about um, cleaning yourself with silk. I, 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 to paraphrase, is much more rude. And if you if you listen to what he says in French, it, it is it's swear it's a lot of swearing. <laughs> okay, so what am I meant to do? Retro said the Colossi have fur. They do have fur. They. I was saying we were lucky because he could just be mostly or entirely stone. And fortuitously enough, he is not. Okay, so he's there. And I think he knows I'm here. Okay. So we have a little kind of cubby thing here, so I'm wondering if this one's much more aggressive with attacks. So how in the world am I going to get on this guy? I have to be able to climb one of these at least, yes? Let's see. This is almost very Star Wars music to me. <laughs> Very KOTOR 2 music. Come on. Um, they have tails. <laughs> oh, I've already been doing that. I just didn't do it now. I was trying to figure out how to get up to him. Down here is good, come on. Did I tell you that uh, Drew Karpishan is writing the new sci-fi? You did mention that, and I am stoked for that. Drew Karpishan is one of my absolute favorite authors, especially when it comes to uh, media. Like, I, I get it, Frank Herbert wrote Dune, right? But my goodness, Drew Karpishan can easily... I think he can easily, with the world building that he has, rival anything that Frank Herbert or any other major sci-fi writer of the of the previous century has done. Okay, I need you to come over here, I think. I don't know how. Come on. Yes. Okay, now how do I... Okay, so that might be... Give me that nice. Okay, he didn't take me with him, though. He, he, he blew me off of the thing with the wind from his wings. Let's see. I have a bad habit of falling asleep to your streams. When I do, I get sad because I miss the whole thing. Well, of course, you're always welcome to do what you please. I mean, if you fall asleep to them, at least I'm glad to have offered you comfortable background noise. A place or noise or sound that you feel um, comfortable enough, safe enough soothed enough to be able to fall asleep and they're always recorded uh, obviously I'd love to be able to to talk with you but they're always recorded so that if you do happen to fall asleep and worry that you've missed anything in the conversation you can still be there and then we can talk the next time I think the flying is I agree that this so far is my favorite the horse one was my favorite up until just now 
Uh, I think my sleep pattern has to be readjusted. So we're Retro's wing. <laughs> I always fall asleep. He doesn't even pay attention anymore. <laughs> I have a word for every. It does, which is which is good because it indicates that you are quick-witted. I actually have a friend. Um, I have a friend who had my camera keeps readjusting, and I don't like that. Um, I have a friend who had had called me and said that he has a habit of putting uh, my my um, oblivion streams on and falling asleep to them. So. Maybe there's a soothing element in there somehow. That's how we do that. I did that last time and didn't work. Okay, so I, but I need to figure out how to, uh, so I can get his attention this way. But how do I get onto his back? I was getting his attention before. <laughs> I was about to jump on him. Okay, all right, maybe that's what we're doing. I was about to jump on him, and I fell in the water instead. The complete opposite of a jump is a fall, I suppose. I- ooh! Uh, that didn't work at all. And in fact, that took a fair amount of health from me. My goodness. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna let you recover there a little bit there. Um, I always fall. Oh no, sorry. I have. Uh, I'm back. I have spring rolls. <laughs> nice. And the opposite of a jump, uh, the opposite of a jump and a fall is. Um. In action, I guess. That would be my guess, is that the opposite of those things would be an action, right? <laughs> vegetables. Ah, I can't have vegetables, most of them, so... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't, I can't have vegetables for the most part. I am an obligate, for the most part, I am an obligate carnivore. See. Okay, now I think I've healed up. I have, yeah, I have to eat. Mo I have to almost eat meat entire. I can have some cheese, uh, but I have to eat meat almost exclusively. Well, um, let's see. One of the most important ingredients to have in one daily's food intake, and you cannot have them. I cannot have fruits or vegetables. My favorite fruit used to be the pickle. I think I've said that, and I can have none. I am mostly carnivorous. I, I'm almost entirely carnivorous. I can have eggs. I can have cheese. I can have meat, but I cannot have uh, most fruits and vegetables. In my wallet? In my pocket? You said, I'm snatching two card. You missed two, you missed two of the, one of the two letters you put in and two of the letters you didn't. Okay. Would you mind checking the, um, cards? Just to see if there's anything new. Okay. Thank you. Uh, not that I can think of unless you have something that you want to do for later tonight. to. Because I don't know if we have anything ready. No, I'll leave it off. That way you can have a useless piece of plastic. Yes. Um, if, if you see something that would work good for that, then that would be nice. 
Um, just because we, I don't think we have anything prepared. So, okay. Well, everybody's sitting hi, by the way. Hi! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, you can't have fruit. Nope, not fruit or vegetable am I meant to have. Eggs, cheese, milk, beef, poultry, seafood. I can have multiple types of meat. I can have almost any type of meat you can. But I can't have mo much anything else. I can't have grains and wheats and glutens and all that either. So... Uh, she got, that way she got to say hi. Make sure to get fruit and vegetables to make you wakey eggs and bacon. See, I can have both of those things. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna try again. Okay, this time it worked. Oh, but this is... So much worse. I'm not anywhere near where I need to be. There we go. Where is the mark for this thing? Okay, I gotta figure out where the... I feel like it's going to be back there on the tail. Are you sure? I've only known you for three years. Uh, yeah, uh, come on, at least have a banana or apple. I have. I can't eat those. I can have a banana on occasion, it'll, uh, but it'll make me kind of sick. Apples will make me remarkably sick. Uh, almost instantaneously. They are almost poison to me. And then, uh, ones that are poison to me, for sure, um, which are not fruits, but are vegetables, are garlic and onion. Those are poison to me. Absolute poison, I mean. Not kind of poison, but certainly poison. Okay, this is going to be difficult if I don't do this quick. Okay, that's done now. Welcome back. I'm on the back of this thing. I figured out how to do it without getting immediately killed. <laughs> or almost immediately killed. Okay, he's climbing, so I have to be careful. I found that one back there, but it's no longer glowing, so it's no longer a weakness. Where is his other weakness? I have to see. Does he have fur on the on his head? Doesn't look like he's got anything on his head that I can get to. Oh, haha, -ha, it's way out there. This is awful. This is exactly what I didn't want. But I can do it. I'm gonna wager there's probably on both wings, and yeah, this is the- this is why it's awful. Ugh. Come on. It's fine. That's about as well as I think that could have worked out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so focused right now. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna pause real quick so I can see. Um, let's see. Insert DPC theme song here, yeah. You're hurting its wing. I know, I hate it. 
Uh, maybe I should cancel my onion garlic cake that I said, yeah, I can't have any of those things. Just got to wing it on this. I'm glad that you said that. I'm so sorry I didn't see that until now. Uh, Hypnospace Outlaw, and I'm really enjoying it. Have you ever played it? I don't think I have, but I'll take a look at it. Um, it sounds like something that I might find on, um, like, GOG.com almost, but it, it, maybe it's newer. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever heard of it, though. Uh, I love that whenever anybody... <laughs> when the video is there with his approval. <laughs> That's true. Um, okay, here we go. Let's see. I do have some critiques on this boss fight, but I don't want to come off as I know what I'm talking. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, you won't to me. I'm I'm an amateur, uh, literally an amateur at this. Um, I don't know. <laughs> come on. There's no more glowing, so we're going to get off. Ah, I missed. That's okay, though. I was hoping to try and stay on the bird the whole time. Boy, he dropped me way out here, didn't he? Whew. You're a moderator, and you have to navigate sites to solve cases. That's really a cool sound, or a cool-sounding thing. 90s Internet, let's see. Uh, Alternate version of the 90s internet. It's on Game Pass. Oh, okay, all right. I'll take a peek at that then. I was saying, I think it'll be interesting because some of us that are in this chat, we're we're, we're very much uh, uh, alive, cognizant, and grown enough to to witness the fullness of 90s internet. Now I'm intrigued. Wait, retro is amateur and thumb is expert. That's probably true. It's uh, I feel like the boss fights, at least to me, are kind of just you find a weak point at the back of the boss and you make sure you don't fall. That is that is basically what it is. I I, I don't disagree with you. I think I think though that I think the simplicity of it is kind of part of the art to it, though. Because um, consider this is coming out in two thousand. This came out in like two thousand five. So I think that to some extent, it's it is its simplicity is its greatest strength as much as it is its best its biggest weakness. I mean, because think, think about games like Celeste. Celeste is basically don't touch the spikes the game, right? But it's because it's so simple to to understand the mechanics of Celeste that so many people enjoy it, which I, I do like Celeste as well. And I know a lot of people may not agree with me on that. So maybe it's just maybe it's just because of that that those games have become so contentious. Where is Where have the platforms gone? Oh, they're way over here? Are you kidding me? I love Celeste. Yeah, I think Celeste is a good game, too, but I know a lot of people don't. Born in 1956 here. <laughs> uh, yeah, Colossus number 5 is definitely the most beautiful so far. There are a few Colossi where you have to expose their weak points rather than hold on and find it. Yeah, that seemed to be the case with the, one that we, the horse one we fought there. There's a part of the game where someone reports some 14-year-old kid is harassing someone, but the proof of the of it is on an unlisted site that you have to look... Oh, okay. That's interesting. It sounds like the game has internet drama. For as much as 90s did. I mean, in 90... The 90s internet drama was... I mean, there's definitely definitely uh, terrible things going on in, in 90, on 90s internet. But if you remember, 90s internet drama were like um, chat rooms were the big danger. Do you remember they used to have those... Um, like expose commercials those about chat rooms, the dangers of chat rooms, and so on and so forth. They'd have this full on expose documentary, and then they'd have the commercials about that too. And it was almost like the Do You Know Where Your Kid Is commercials that they used to have. The t it's 10 p.m. Do you know where your kid is? You know. I'll be needing you over here, sir, ma'am. Either one. He's like, I am done with you. You have hurt me. You have wounded me emotionally.
There we go. Now he's winding up. I can't tell. I, I don't know how much kind of, uh, let's call it Coriolis, for what for lack of a better term, that we actually have. Okay, so it's not it's not awful. I just had that fluke that one time. Okay. Let's get around to this other side here. I'm assuming uh, that's where that injury is. Place to injure. I need you to straighten out if you don't mind. Literally, not figuratively. Oh, is it either wing? Okay, this isn't glowing, so this is not the weak point again. Or, no, it is. It is. I just had the wrong thing equipped. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Good lord. Believe me, Metal Gear Solid 1 boss fights are my favorite, but I can only easily say they are gimmicky. They are definitely gimmicky, but they're fun. They're, they're fun. Let me go back a little bit. Uh, 90s internet kid back in my day, we didn't have Facebook or Twitter rubbish. Modern kid, what? <laughs> That's true. You didn't, I mean, you didn't, though. You didn't have Facebook, you didn't have Twitter or X or any of that. Can I, I'm going to, I'll dodge the inky blackness by diving to the inky blackness. Oh, the camera even gets you down there. That's pretty cool. I knew I wasn't going to be able to escape it. but um, It's mostly just kids thinking they're hot stuff pretending to have girlfriends, but it turns out Guy and his long-distance girlfriend have the same hardware ID. Yeah. That's <laughs> How come the response came from the same IP as the, as the question? Oh, you are your girlfriend, I see. Yeah. What happens if the boss attacks you? He hit me with his wing. I don't think he attacked me very well, but he—I uh, I accidentally messed something up, and he attacked me with, or he hit me with the wing. It took half of my health. Uh, but beyond that, I think the only thing that could have happened if I would have fallen off his hat, if I would have hit a, hit a solid surface, I don't think anything else happened. Even if they had ninety, yeah, they did. The Colossus. Yep, it, that one doesn't really attack you. It doesn't have the ability to really. Oh. The internet freaks me out. I think late 90s, early 2000s AOL message boards were the best, in my opinion. Maybe they were silly for the most part. There are no analytics. and yet. That's true. That's true. Lurks underneath the temple. Hopefully this temple, because then it won't be that far away. It lusts for destruction. Ours or, it, or its own? No content? How did you people live in the... We had content in the... Well, you're, I'm not going to say that, Vidi. You're, I know you know the 90s. It's just... Um, we had content. It was just better con. I say better. It wasn't better. It was... Harder to be as bad with. Nowadays, content is much easier to be awful about. But it didn't used to be as easy to be as awful. Because people were, were having trouble navigating it. So you really didn't have a ton of... Uh, you know, you didn't have a ton, a ton of experts. Now everybody knows how to navigate these things very, very well, and that means exploit these things very, very well. There aren't more devious people than there were. It's just people have be the devious people have become expert enough that they know how to manipulate it. Let me catch, um, catch up though. Uh, people know way too much about the creators they enjoy. Uh, by the way, retro, I love these new curtains. <laughs> <laughs> then there's the epic hackers illegally sharing in-universe music and stuff. The cool part is that you can download them and listen. Oh, that's really a neat kind of in it feature. Meaning that we all made a post without worrying that someone's going to feature your channel, etc. We had no concept of content creation back then. Bedroom curtain designs quite an animal crossing, crossing a star to fall here all over the net. Some kind of freedom with that, I think. Freedom and some danger. Self-love is always important. It is an interesting... The concept of self-love is an interesting one to me. Um, because while I encourage other people to, to love themselves, um, I also recognize um, within myself that that's not something that I have. 
but it's because I don't experience love the same way that everybody else does. I've and I, I found that out recently. So it's it's very easy for me to encourage it, but I also realize now, having learned some new things about myself, uh, that I don't experience love the same way as other people. Doesn't mean I don't experience it. I certainly do. I just don't experience it the same way. And so then it's much more it's much more difficult to take something that is already difficult and complicate it further. But I agree with you for, uh, insofar as that when people can experience it in the same way that they do, I think that's uh, yeah. uh, reflected inward. I think that's good. Uh, as a person living mostly alone, I have to practice self-love more. It's important. It's certainly going to be important if you don't have other people to... Um, it's, I think it's certainly important if you don't have other people to kind of keep the, the mood positive. Yeah, I agree. I think the key for social media is to focus on you, number one, and anything else is a good bonus. Yeah. I must be under one of the temples from the Zelda. <laughs> that would be interesting. It was better. It was 100% better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed the 90s. It had Agro's cartoon. It didn't have that. <laughs> Agro didn't come around until the uh, 05. <laughs> Keep in mind, back in the late 90s internet... There was a little outside competition to draw your attention. No Hulu, no Netflix. You you watched you watched television or you read books or magazines. Okay. What are you? What is this? What happened? We found magic, and then it just... It, it, uh, what happened? I, I, I hope it's saved, because I hadn't saved until before that Colossus. Um, what suggested actions do you have? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's maybe try this again. And pray that it auto-saved somehow, because I did not go to a shrine. Uh... I hope it autosaves after each of the Colossus. Each Colossus, rather. Not each of the Colossi. Dial-up sound. Dial-up sound was interesting. Um, I liked that. Ouch. Uh, what was the ouch for? Was it for the crash? Or if someone was on the phone, you couldn't use the internet. Yeah, somebody would pick it up, and then all of a sudden, there it go. I hope so too. I, I, it's not that big of a deal. If not, I know how to defeat the other one. Um, I, you know, but it says it automatically. So this, I'm glad that it starts out the game automatically saves your progress. Thank goodness. So we'll see if it did or didn't. Hopefully, it did. Um. So don't go back to that. I have to because I need that little thing though. I need that's a, that's a good thing for me. I need that, but it wouldn't let me have it. Okay. Uh, yeah, Colossi defeated five. Yeah, okay, so it, it looks like it did it. So I, I need to go back out and see. If that crashes the game again, I won't go after it. But I do need that thing because it helps my stats. It helps my uh, grip strength, I'm fa fairly certain, because I think that was... Was that not one of the fruit? Or was uh, maybe I'm wrong. Genuine people for the most part. Are you talking about people now, people here, or people back in the day? A colossal, <laughs> so much disingenuous, g disingenuousness, yes, and fake behavior online. It's it's easy to become someone different when you hide behind a monitor, and I'm not, sa and I'm saying that right now as a disembodied voice talking into a microphone, right? So I recognize that there's some some hypocrisy in that, but I also I, I'm not claiming to be anything great or terrible. Well, I, terrible, probably, but not great, certainly, and not terrible in a way that would be outward-facing. Um, sometimes I'm sad over not experiencing the internet before 2010. I, it's the emotion, I think, that really... Agro? Agro? Thank you. The emotion... I remember... Okay. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna date myself here necessarily. I'm gonna try not to, but I will say that when I was first playing on a computer, when I'd play a computer game or something like that, I was playing on uh, an Apple IIe computer. So for anybody who's unfamiliar, that was a computer that's popular in the 70s and 80s, I believe. 
I mean, it was. It even had some utility in the nine in the nineties. Uh, the Apple computer. No, I'm sorry. Uh, the Apple IIe, I think, came out later. I think that was the eighties. And I played. Like uh, I played Carmen San Diego. I played uh, the Oregon Trail. I played an educational game, which I still like uh, to this day. It's it's very hard to still play, even though I I'm I'm decent at. at most scholastic subjects, it's still a difficult game to play, but it was called Dr. Quan the Island, Secret Island of Dr. Quandary or something like that. And, um, alright, I'm going in on foot, Agro. Put the sword up ahead of time. I'll put the bow up ahead of time. Let's see if it, if it crashes my game again. It did not crash my game, but I don't know what it did do for me. Sounded like I thought it was something good, but it sounded like glass. Okay, um, but I would play those games, and it was just such a sense of wonder. There was so little yeah. that those games really had. They weren't graphically impressive. Uh, well, Quandry kind of was, but they weren't truly. When you think about it, they weren't really truly graphically impressive. I mean, they, I played the Oregon Trail on this channel, and I played the version that I played when I was younger, and it was I, well, not the version. I played one version. I guess one version newer than the version I played when I was younger. And it's just, you, you had so many pixels and, and, or so few pixels and so, you didn't care. The world was just, you were on the tra you were on that, in that world, you were in that time. And now we have everything. We have graphics that are nearly photorealistic and not we, us, but so many people are so complacent. It's, it's not enough. I, I don't I don't like that. I think that was the wonderful thing about the internet in the nineties and before. Yeah. Is that you had so little and you loved it so much, and nowadays we have so much and we love it so little. And that's the nature of kind of things when they exist. I think that's kind of the nature of, of everything. The same is applicable to the earth. We've had it for so long and the more the longer we've had it, the more we've neglected to care for it. Mm-hmm. I figured that was the case, but oh well. Sorry, I've, I've prattled on and I haven't read the comments just yet because I'm trying to figure out how to navigate this. I, Agro, I need you to move forward, please. Here, I'll just do it on foot. There's a shrine. I'll just manually do my thing. I don't think my grip bar got any longer from that last one, so I don't know. I don't know what happened. Okay, I'm going to stand here in the sun. Sorry. It's only on Agro where the... Okay. That's not it. It's... This way. Does that fall way off, or is that... It's probably better to navigate this without Agro, honestly. Okay, let me... I'm sorry. <laughs> let me catch up. I apologize. Um... The amount of people I've experienced online who are honestly, uh, does is, it, it, pe people are more comfortable being bad online. Yeah, of course. It, it's the the facade of, of technology allows us uh, the mask of technology allows us a lot of unintentional amnesty for being bad people or worse people than we can be. I admit the person that is me, that is me on streams and video plays is the closest to who I actually am in real life. But at the same time, it isn't who I have to compel myself to. Uh, oh, fair enough. I'm sort of a quietish person. I'm I'm more of an introvert myself. Um, I, I'm much of a, much more of a, a person who enjoys to read books and things like that. But if I am talking, you are talking to the version of me that is me. I'm not. There is no show I'm putting on. I will tell you that. And you can believe it if you if you will, or or you don't have to. It's it's up to you. But um, okay. How do I? What do I do with it? Sorry. It, was, it sounded like there's something over here really quickly before I... Okay, yeah. So there's this. Okay. But it feels like there's something to be done with this barrel as well, perhaps. Um, but this is this is who I am. I mean, I'm speaking uncensored to you. I, I don't use a lot of cursed words myself or anything like that. But it doesn't seem to do anything. Um... Does that do anything? 
can I uh, try that closer to the barrel, please? Is it, is there anything to do? Is this barrel meant to do anything at all? Or is it just me? Am I just being silly? Okay. I'm sorry. I can relate. The only person I get more sentences out of real life is my other half. Fair. Joe died of dysentery. I played that game on the channel. I played the or the Oregon Trail, not the Oregon Trail. Um, and I actually put people from the chat in it, so it was a really fun one. The Oregon Trail is an intergenerational experience. It is. It, it, it has become that, which I really like. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Surely you talk more than that at a time. I'm not even exaggerating. I think I may have accidentally pitched Persona 6. Uh, I don't like people, and I like to keep to myself. My other half gets it out of me, but that's all. Yeah, I, I can respect and understand that. I think my parents compel me to talk more, but then again, I have nothing to say. Why say something? That's exactly the... That's good, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I always curse. It's nothing to do with the way I speak. No front. I'm also English, though. That's all right. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just... I don't. It's a precursor to The Last Guardian. It's got blue butterflies and glowing barrels. Yeah. <laughs> I did not see this in one game. Um... Yeah. I tried. We all, we, we made it. We, we did make it. That was fun. I had fun with that one. That one was really fun. So I, I did that. For those of you who weren't here at that time, uh, I did do one called the Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail being the zombie, uh, play on the Oregon Trail, right? And I've also played the Oregon Trail on here too. Uh, but we played the Oregon Trail. And, uh, we actually put the people that are here, some of the people that are here in the chat in the party. And we, we, well, I'll let you see what you think, unless you really want me to spoil it. It's kind of cool, I thought, but, I mean, that's just me. I'm a dork sometimes. Where are we? There we are. I don't know, I could probably use you, but I, I might, I mean, I may not. Let's see. Um... That's my favorite stream of yours. The Oregon Trail one? The, I did, there was a two-parter. Um, those, with those two, uh, or the original Oregon Trail one that I did. And when you played Halo with your friends? Uh, yeah, that's, um, that was my brother and two, uh, other longtime friends of mine. Um, I have known them for decades. Very, very fun. Uh, the Oregon Trail is the earliest chronological game of the 1001 video game series you must play before you die. Really? That's, it's, it is a great game. I actually, I can't show it to you here, but I actually have, if you can believe it, I have a little handheld here that is exclusively made to play the Oregon Trail. I'm holding it. See if I can, if you can hear it, but it's the only thing it plays. Let's see if I can... But yeah, the only thing you can do is play the Oregon Trail on this thing. And, uh... There, that's us on the trail. And they actually give you a... Uh, they actually... It's such a cool... I thought it was cool. I think I paid, like, 20 bucks for it, for it. But it's so cool. So neat. Um... You also need to play Helldoggers... Three, so we can play. I, I would love to, uh, or Helldivers 2. I would love to, but we had that trouble, and I've sent you the picture for it, so we have that trouble. We have to figure out what's gone on with our um, friend codes there. But yeah, absolutely, I would love to. Let's see. Let's uh, click that so I can see. There we go. Back when Oblivion was the latest uh, Elder Scrolls game, I remember asking my dad to buy it for me, but he said it was too boyish, which I felt was stupid. Eventually got him to get it, but it didn't work out with Dragon's Dogma. Uh, I think fun... I mean, I'm not... I don't want to be rude to your dad. I'm sure your dad had some reason for doing that, but at the same time, for me, fun is universal. Um, I have a daughter... Um, she's not a, she's not a, 
uh, a little, you know, she's not tiny uh, anymore, like I wish she were. Um, and and she happens to be very girly. She very much enjoys girly things. But at the same time, if she to she's told me that she enjoys um, soccer, which uh, would in most other parts of the world be called football, but we have another sport here also called football, so it gets a little confusing. That's why I think we have the separate names. Uh, but either way, uh, and of course, I, I, I love football as well and have been a fan of it for some time and, and have loved to play it. And that could be considered decidedly more boyish or not. It doesn't matter. If she has fun, then she does it. It doesn't matter what your connotations are. And the same thing applies with games. If, she, if, if I, you know, I had a boy and he's having fun playing games and then all of a sudden he's like, you know what? I like this Barbie game because of the story or whatever. Okay, fine. Then you play the, you play the game. I'm not, I don't care. I want you to have fun. Fun is universal. I don't care what your what your um, gender is. Just play the game. Have fun. Those are complicated. Those are those are not not complicated questions for me. Is what I'm trying to say. Goodness sakes, I can't speak. But that that's my opinion. I'm not trying to say anything against. Again, I'm not um, trying to to clown on anybody. I think that's. I don't know if that's even the phrase anymore. I'm not trying to be rude to anybody. Is what I mean to say. It's not, it, okay, it's kind of... Where in the world? I mean, am I even on the right course? I don't know. The other thing about it, too, though, you can't really say that. I mean, you really can't say that historically speaking. I mean, listen, <laughs> historical figures of all time. Joan of Arc is up there. <laughs> so... Um, too boyish? What is he... <laughs> I say, I think I have to private everything because of human. That's okay. I understand. I mean, whatever is going to work, whatever is comfortable for you. Me and Retro have a son. His name is. Me. No, yeah, play. <laughs> no, I actually do have a daughter. I won't say. I, I don't. I won't give a whole bunch of uh, information. That's not fair. She, she could give her own if she wanted to. She could give her own introductions, but, but um, I don't think. Uh, I don't think that'd be good for me to do, <laughs> but yeah, I have. I, I I can certainly say I have a daughter. That's fair. We have a daughter, Anna and I. <laughs> uh, so in uh, <laughs> okay, TV show with you, Laurie. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm clearly not in the right area. I th it's set under the temple. So I figured I would have to go in. I figured that this could be that, like, there would be like a doorway or something maybe here that I could get into. But I don't see it, and there's not enough sunlight here for me to. And there are intermittent uh, clouds. If I come over here, can I see this? This looks to be sunny. Yes. No, I need to be on the other side. Okay, I'm in the right general area. All right, thank goodness. Retro, I am your father. <laughs> There's nothing here to go into, though. Let's see. Maybe I've just missed it. There may be a uh, there, there may be a door and I just don't see it or a crack in the wall. So I see this, but I can't go into that. What am I missing? You must find <laughs> Tiki. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so Speaking of temples, I have a hill I'll die on. Ocarina of Time on the 3DS is so much better to play than on the N64. I don't disagree with you. I don't, I don't think that's a contentious to thing to say. Um, the N64, for, for the time that the N64 came out, right? It was fun. There was a lot of fun for it. Here, come here, Agro. We're gonna, we're gonna wander a bit, I think. Come on. Uh, I... 
the um come on, quit running me into walls while yeah. I'm the controller was definitely weird. Now that having been said, I I think if you had they have made uh like modified dog bone esque style controllers. I do think that if that looks like a doorway from way back where, but I don't I don't understand. I gotta get out of the way. Goodness. See, it says there. If I go up, it spreads. It says it says it's there. I mean, that's it's pointing there. Is it saying it's way on the other side of that hill? Because I don't see anything. I don't see anything here at all. Um, then again, I don't have an N64. No, I think... The, the N64 controller was not... <laughs> Here's my hill to die on, Breath of the Wild. It's not... It's, eh, it doesn't revolutionize anything. Um, does have better Iron Boots thingy, the Master Quest stuff, but I love both versions. What's your opinion on the Force Temple music and Ocarina of Time? What is your opinion on time? I hate it. Do you like onions? Nope. That, uh, garlic and onions are things that I cannot have, so I do not like them, no. Garlic and, garlic number one and onions number two poisons to me, so no, I cannot have those. And I do not like them because I cannot have those. Um, I think you're on one extreme of the map, not near the temple. Okay, well then let me go back up and see what's happened. Not to get serious, but I realized the other day how much time I might have wasted in a sense, and it's really messed with me. If you have spent that time getting to a point of realization, then the time has not been wasted. I, uh, this is... All that I will say is if time has passed so that you can come to the realization that you have come to now, then that time has been spent well. Whether or not you believe that it is too much or too little of that time spent is is, is something you could debate. But if it has led to a realization and one that has, has been revolutionary, hopefully positively so, then the time has been spent and not wasted. And that's okay, in my opinion. But of course, you can believe and, and feel however you want to about it. That's yeah. just opining. See, I don't understand. So I'm not. If I'm not near the temp, let's see. Let's let's come out here to the sun real quick. Okay, and then it doesn't look like I. I mean. It, to, Am I really that far off? Okay, let's try to, how do I get across there though? Like, this leads down. Don't cook a meal with uh, onions and garlic. <laughs> yeah, I cannot have those. And under any circumstances, I cannot have those. come this way for a second. Time was definitely wasted, has definitely been wasted. I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't know that I can change your mind on that. I don't know exactly what happened, so I couldn't, com I couldn't commentate enough to, or accurately enough to say, but I know that for me, I feel like if I were to, I've never broken a bone, but if I were to break an arm, I might feel that the time I didn't use that arm was wasted, but sometimes that's the necessary evil of healing. And then I realized that once it has healed, I realized that once I have healed, that that time needed to happen so that I could. But again, I don't know the specifics. I, I'm I'm perhaps oversimplifying things. So I 
take what I've said with a grain of salt or toss it out altogether, that is your prerogative. You would know better than I would. You know better than I do your life. Let's put it that way. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, maybe. I'm gonna adjust my seating really quickly. I do kind of think at the moment in my 30s, where did my, there it is. I do, th I, I do think kind of, uh, I do th kind of think at the moment in my 30s, I'm more worried about how my time is spent. The older you get, the more you, you will worry about the way your time is spent because you do realize that, that time isn't infinite. And it's not like money or the ability to earn money. You can't really earn back time, sure. But because of that, we also have to have unique perspective. I think we should all have unique perspectives on how we view time. Right? Yeah. I view, like for example, if I were to find that I was getting down to the end of my money, I would be very panicked about it. Yeah. Because I wouldn't have had, I, I would, I would have the, no, nothing there you, in terms of utility. Um, but the problem with that is that I can re-earn it. With time, it's different. With time, because I know there's no potential to re-earn it, I don't look back at any of it as wasted. I look back at all of it as learning for how to push forward. Because that's all relevant. But again, it, 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 to me, it seems like investment, and you know, may, again, it, it may not be. Um, some people may disagree with that. So, okay, so somewhere under this great mess, borrow me a tenner. I don't think. I mean, my money doesn't translate exactly to yours. My money's not worth quite as much as uh, the. USD isn't quite as strong as the GBP right now. Yeah. It's not a substantial difference, but sure. I'll probably go to bed in a little bit. No worries. Yeah. Well, it was always a pleasure to have you here while you're here. Sorry. £12.50. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know how it translates. If that's what it comes out to, then I don't think it's quite that much of a disparity. It might be, though. Who knows? Okay, this feels maybe-ish. Same. Okay, no worries. <laughs> who are you? Who are you? To, <laughs> who are you to find me for sleeping? No, it's always a pleasure, uh, Maggie, Bogus, it's always a pleasure to have you in, and um, if you happen to, to need to rest, please do so, and do so well. Um, if you dream, please dream well. And, um, and it's a, but if not, I mean, it's always a pleasure to have you here while you are here, so, very nice. Uh, I haven't broken a bone either. Broken many hearts, though, obviously. <laughs> Bad joke. One needs a heart container from Zelda there, but yeah, I've not broken bones that much from memory. I've not broken any. I have dislocated several. Um, but luckily, I can just kind of pop them back into place. So They still slip on occasion, but not that big of a deal. Um, I am Morgana for Persona 5. I forbid you to stay. The new viewers. Are... <laughs> I'm not that new. That's true, actually. Speaking of time, how quickly it passes, it has now been months. Um, because they came in, uh, uh, Maggie and Bogus, and, so, and they, they didn't come all in at the same time, but uh, when they came in, it uh, was. Uh, we were doing, you know, the kind of middle, uh, early middle Oblivion stream, and now we're past that stream in its entirety, and the DLC, and also all the way into two other game franchises. So that's crazy to think about. I've been here since... You have been with me for almost four years, or going on four years, Ash, that is true. You have been... You have been a... a uh, you've been with me for some time. 
Is it water down there? If I hit the ground, it, will it be stone? It is stone. There is no way I should jump. It is tempting, but if that were water, and if that were water... Which is funny, it's funny, a video game mechanic, they always have you jump if there is water below, but water does not compress well. Hitting water from a height like this would absolutely be as lethal, potentially even more so, than hitting... Well, it wouldn't be as lethal as hitting stone, I suppose, but it would be pretty darn close. I see, I see, I see. <gasps> this definitely feels like a big arena. This feels like almost like a Prince of Persia arena. <laughs> Before a big fight. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Vidi, did I meet you before retro? I don't, oh, that's a good question. I'm a valuable asset because I'm bringing more viewers to retro stream. It's... Uh, and, and don't get me wrong, Bogus. I definitely appreciate you for, for being here and for, for bringing friends in. But please understand that I will never see anyone as an asset or a, a liability um, because I don't see my people as, as transaction in this. I, you are, are, are people who I, you're, you're pleasant acquaintances who I hope will or can become friends in future. Uh, or or, or are, if you're willing to say friends at this point, internet friends at least at that. Um, that's kind of the idea. I don't ever want you to think that I think of you transactionally because that would be... That would, that would, that would be, I, w I wouldn't do that. I feel like that would be exploitative. I like this one. He's nice. Is he furry up here? Not really. Oh! I was, okay. I didn't want you to, I didn't want you to think that I thought of you as an, a, of, a, as a, like a transaction. That, that's, that was my main thing. It wasn't that you'd said something wrong. It was just, I didn't want you to think that I was thinking of you as a transaction. Okay, so these furry knuckles here seem to be a little bit out of my reach. Aha! Unless he does that. I've known you since 86. Uh, I, th I think I met you, Ash, mostly through retro streams months ago. <laughs> At the same time, I may have also met you through Hapes' streams. I haven't gotten to be in a hip stream for some time. I love his videos, but I haven't gotten to be in a hip stream for some time, and I'm really sad about that. His stuff is really fun. Um, we don't want it. Uh, I like this one. He's nice. He, he's a very... <laughs> Ash is Retro's long-lost twin. I think he told me that back in the rainy nights in 2003. But he's also said he's Retro's father, so I'm taking it with a grain of salt. <laughs> uh, as I say, I think we, I, I think we're very similar. Um, uh, there, there are certainly differences, but I think from what I know of you, it seems like we're very, very similar at least. I was hoping that being up on the oh, it didn't let me. Oh, I, I it didn't let me grab it. Made me duck instead. Uh, we are. I, I mean, we are definitely. Uh, uh, I don't need the sword for its vitals. I need to climb up on it. I can find the vitals in a, in a minute. I'm rather small than big. Um, yeah, I think I'm. I mean, I'm a decent size. I'm not. I, I'm not huge or anything like that. I'm a definitely a decent size. I actually do a, a fair amount of of um, of exercise and such. So I, I I'm proud to say that I'm. While I'm probably meatier than I need to be, in in a not so good way, I also feel like I'm a decently meaty person in a better way, especially nowadays. I adore making these silly jokes. Well, good. Come on. Oh, it's just a hand. How are you kidding me? Come on. Hand for the boss, wheezy waiter. Okay, got it. Quit caffeine for a month.
I need to, I need to... Ah, I was gonna try to get up on his beard. I gotta, I, ooh, I'm sorry, I'm all locked in here for a second. Is that what the, is that, I'm wondering if that's the thing. Um, when Ash told me, my intrusive class told me to play, how come you're allowed this? <laughs> I don't appreciate talking back. <laughs> that's okay. I don't think you can climb up on its hand. Uh, I got up. I got. Oh, you can't climb up the arm, perhaps. I'm, I'm trying to see if when he brings me up, if I can jump onto his beard. People really like it when I bring up vague emails that I assume are obvious to them. For example, they ask Kaino uh, how to play the piano, and I, I answer. Remember that one sunny day in 2014? Yep. Done. Got it. Okay. See, I feel like I feel like his beard is probably where I need to get up to, but I don't know. He's de he's doing a lot of damage to me. Okay, hold on. Let's hop up here and heal really quickly, I guess. Oh, wait a minute, what? Was I meant- that was intended? Okay. Well, let's keep going then, I guess. He does a lot of damage. All the time. All the time damage. I can hear the seconds of this guy's life ticking away. I need to I need him to heal. <laughs> there aren't very many places he can go though. I, I don't know if I was Oh, that wasn't even necessary. He had already broken it? I didn't realize. Dang. Okay. This seems like a bad idea. I think he'll just break that right down un up from under me. Or right down on top of me is what I mean to say. Uh. Okay, I... Is there a hole that I can go into that I can like? Because I feel like if he hits this, he's just gonna, he's just gonna, it's just gonna kill us. All right, one second. I'm sorry, I'm not catching up. I'm trying to take a look at the. I'm trying to see how to do this uh, uh, fight. I don't understand. I feel like. I don't, if I'm just safe under here, that's great, but I don't feel like I am. <gasps> I can make him peek. And then his beard is mine. I thought it said... Okay. All right, all right, all right. This makes more sense. Oh, it's on his head. Got it. Okay, cool. We've actually got a neat little kind of... Oh, I thought we had a little flat piece that he wouldn't mess with me on, but he, he definitely messed with me. This is gonna hurt a little bit, just uh, bear with me. Quick shot. 
quick shot and then it's done, okay? No problem. Just gonna hang on here for a second. No worries. Right about there. Okay, there we go. We got you. Quick needle and it's done. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's kind of a cool little, like, clever... I was able to get onto his hand. Okay, he's, 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 it's changed. All right, we're all right, we're all right. Where would it be now? Heart, probably, since he's got a beard? Because I can climb down there, right? I don't know, let's, let's see how far back this goes, I'm sorry. I'm going, I'm going to, I'll take a look in just a second at the chat, I'm so sorry. Shows it to be... It looked like it was on his back, actually. So let's see. Aha! It is! Okay. Oh, man. He is... Very good at wiggling. My guy's very good at grabbing onto things. I guess I was close enough. Let me see if I can climb back up real quick and maybe get some of the stamina back. I may not be able to do it in time. Ugh. I always try to kind of get, I don't know if this is the strategy, but it seems to be doing okay, where I'll try to get close to the bone of them, and that way if he shakes in one direction, I can uh, get thrown into the bone, like into the spine or whatever. But in this case, it's it's not easy because I'm, you know, kind of like uh, uh, vertical. Ah, shoot, I almost had that. Two more, I think, good ones will we'll get him. No, maybe not. This one's not doing nearly as much damage. Oh, everybody's starting to send <laughs> multiple. What should Retro Tag team name be? Come on, I need up there. I'm gonna drop. I can't. I can't. I didn't drop. Hang on. I thought I was going to drop off for sure. See, if I stay kind of close to the center, if he shakes too far in the, to the right, I'll hit, just hit the spine. If he shakes too far to the left, I can always just grab on for long enough. Okay. This is not expert strat at all. It can't be. Let's see. Okay. One more good one, maybe. Eh, come on. There it is. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That was cool. That one was tough. I don't like it when... I mean, I, I say I don't like it. Obviously, it makes it more of a challenge. I don't like it when they're, when they're all vertical. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why on the back? We should remember beards more. I thought it was going to be maybe an on the... Like, the heart. Where I'd have to grab onto the beard and it would be like on his heart. Let's see. Let me let me catch up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fun fact: this fight is exactly how mine. <laughs> we call it. He he climbed my beard and we call it even. See, I love this here. Retro pays me well. Next time you bring it up, he stole a pot. Twelve thirty-five. <laughs> It's 
card has landed in 1200s a lot and faces spy. And then, yeah, I don't know why. After a while, it seems to, for whatever reason, it seems to go like uh, multiple. When did she start being a philosopher? It's like in Poor Things when Bella starts learning philosophy. I, okay. Oh, I can't say it. Um, I saw Poor Things. I liked it a lot, actually. I thought it was good. Um, but then I have a question, but I don't want to spoil it because it is still new enough. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Only an expert knows the expert. Only an expert knows the expert strat. Can I do promos for beards as well? That'd be cool. Streamer doesn't even reach out. What a kind of. I, I'm sorry. I was super uh, enveloped. Only streamers is worse than only Seinfeld when it comes to money. I have a question. What question is that? Ash was there when the Danes took down London Bridge. Well, that would be funny because, um, that would be really funny if he were because we would have found ourselves on opposite sides as, um, that's where my heritage comes from are the Danes. <laughs> now, of course, I'm American, right? But, um, but, it, uh, it, but going, going, we went, you know, going back and tracing the genealogy and all of that, we are, um, uh, we are um, uh, mostly Danish. <laughs> I like that. Um, only Maggie subscriptions would sell like hotcakes. I would get people to pay for my very legitimate advice. It would be cool. I mean, obviously, I'm not. Prom I'm not promoting or saying anyone should do OnlyFans or or shouldn't. That's your. Bi if you're an adult, that's your business. If you're not an adult, then not. You know, obviously. Please don't do that because that's for multiple reasons. Um, but to have one, a site like that where you could... Uh, oh, come on. I, got I didn't mean to hit that button. To have a site like that where you go out and you like have humor and tell jokes and yeah. and give advice and stuff like that, that seems great, all, like wholesome. Yeah. Like, I, that's, I'm not... I'm not one to promote the, the site in its current way, but if you had, like... They did one, um, like... There was uh, uh, Linus Tech Tips at one point, and they did one. It was like they were showing uh, open case computers, and I was like, "Oh, that's a cool idea." So I, I don't. I, I'm not a, a, a fan of it in its current state, but I think that there are fun things that could be done if there were sites of, with similar models. Okay, let's not run off the edge there, Agro. I'm just taking a look at things. Okay, let's not run off the edge there, Agro. God. Ooh. Uh, if this is what I'm thinking, uh-oh, I want to put my money forward to only Maggie, only Maggie. I would never, uh, you would never do the, uh, the Maggie website where you gave the advice, the com comedy thing? Oh, I would say, yeah, that would be, I, I think, I mean, you don't have to actually, I mean, I think to do it for fun, to give, like, advice and stuff, um, or, or, or to, to have fun and just tell jokes, I think it'd be fun. I thought we were doing OnlyFans. What? Why lie? I, I'm not trying. If I have to give an opinion on that, like people, adults can do what they want to. I, I don't know if that's a. That seems like a contentious topic nowadays. People can, adults can do what they want to. I just, I'm not a fan. So I'm not a part of that because they they ask for OnlyFans. Eh, see what I did there. But also, I'm not a fan. <laughs> With the exception of the the Linus Tech Tip one that I that they that I had said before, where they kind of they show you like uh, open case computer builds, which I am a big fan of. I think that's really cool. I think that's a funny idea, especially because they get all that they they were getting all of that new tech at the same time, like at, right as it was coming out. You know, you're getting forty nineties right as they were coming out, thirty nineties, forty nineties as they were coming out, which is really cool. So, <laughs> I hate this, I'm. <laughs> Um, Jamie, you just tweeted that there are more bots on Twitter than the GFX ones. He's right. I see. I don't even know what those are, honestly, so I, I couldn't tell you. Maggie's live tips in bio. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, should just be on a buy one, get <laughs> buy one, get one free. <laughs> nice. Um, let's see. 
I'm not searching for them. There's some genuine people on Twitter with good gaming convos, and you press read more, and then what happens. That's what they all say. I don't know. Um, I don't know what bots you're talking about. I don't... I, I know what bots are, right? I get that, but, like, I don't... I don't guess I know what those bots are, and I, but I don't really spend any time on Twitter or social media either. I have the Discord, and I like the Discord because I know who's in the Discord, and I know, you know, the intention. Well, it's cloudy. I can't do that. Um, but I don't really spend a ton, a ton of tw time on Twitter. There's just a lot of people and a lot of opinions that I don't care much for. Um, and I'm not saying that I don't, that I don't like people. I'm, well... To an extent, I can. I guess I'm saying that. What I'm what I'm trying to say is that people are more eager to get into a fight versus a conversation. Okay. It looks like nothing to me. I guess we're gonna have to go around. Yeah. Now we've been here. But we've been in this area before. I don't like Discord. The weird DMs are uncomfortable. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maggie. Said in the way that Groot is, I am Maggie. Richard pretends he doesn't know. I truly don't. Um, I don't spend any. I don't spend really any time on Twitter. Like I'll go in there. I think I go onto Twitter maybe once, maybe once a month. I see a lot of stuff that like Hapes does. I see a lot of stuff that like Ash does. If Viddy, if you do stuff, or Thumb, if do, if yeah, you know, if there's anything there that I happen to see, I don't really see a lot of Thumb on there, but. Um, but if I happen to see anything like that, of course, I'll, I'll you know, read it, give a like, if, if it warrants a response, which is to say that you've asked for oop, a response, then of course I'll give one. But I don't spend really a lot of time at all on social media of any kind. Is that the one that was climbing this wall over here? Okay, I think so. So... Um, there are bots that say that in bio. Like, no one's gonna fall. Oh, I don't care. But it's, it's it, I mean, I was gonna say, I, I don't know, I was I don't care about that. Here's the thing this is gonna sound bad, but yeah. nudity is so ubiquitous nowadays that there's almost nothing special about it. Which is a shame because. The human body is such a fascinating thing. And you have wonderful, you know, statues of the Greco-Roman era where people that built their bodies into, through natural living, through the hardships of, of natural living and through um, intent, would build their body into these wonderful things and then they would have statues made of them and it was recognized as art. And then now... Agro... I need you to not, buddy. Did I get it? I got it, though, yes? Okay. I couldn't see if my bar had gotten... had done its thing. But, but, um... I think that was just a bunch of glitch there. No, that's, that's one. I thought I saw him. guy. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um. <laughs> Isn't it weird that we have to send weekly worship messages to Ash to stay at Discord? <laughs> That's funny. Um, Retro sees me complain and then delete it. No. Um. I try to stand at our, uh, uh, biological urges, fascination with the human body, etc. And I wonder people going. To... Well, the thing about it is, like I said, I'm not saying that the human body isn't fat, isn't fascinating anymore. I mean, obviously, the human body is fascinating. But again, in the Greco-Roman times, you had people who would work hard to make their bodies um, strong, and then that would be sculpted, and those sculptures are beautiful, and there was there was beauty in it because we valued our bodies in more ways than one. We valued the bodies as art. We took care of the bodies in ways that were that warranted art, and art was made as a result of that. But nowadays, um, it's it's kind of just there, sold for a quick buck, and then and then yeah, there you go. 
and it's done in the provocative in a provocative manner. It's not done in an artistic manner. Like there aren't any Venus de Milo style, you know, boudoir shoots. I don't think it's almost always some intentionally provocative, just filming of you know. So I'm like, ah. And I'm not saying that we're not special. I'm saying that we don't treat ourselves as if we're special. We don't treat our bodies as if we're special. And I'm not saying that for everybody. I'm saying that for the vast amount of stories, uh, things that I hear, and that, that I that I for the vast amount of things that I hear about. I guess is what I'm trying to say. For I'm in the shade, sun. It's not in there, so we have. Maybe it is in there. That way? Maybe, the, maybe... Let's go around this way. I'll genuinely hop off now. No worries. Well, it was a pleasure to have you here. Today was really fun, just like every stream before. Can't wait for the next one. These streams always make my Sundays, but I am so glad to hear that. I hope you do have a wonderful rest, and I hope that... Uh, I, I, I do hope that it's fun. I always enjoy uh, getting to converse with you and, and talk with you about... You're, you're incredibly funny, but then on top of that, I think it's always great to get to talk uh, about... Uh, just the random odds and ends of life. I think you have a really great and unique perspective. I think that's great. So, thank you so much for being here. Sam, it's getting late and I don't want to fall asleep again. No worries, Bogus. And much the same for you. It's always a pleasure to have you in here and to, to get to talk with you and to get to, to joke around and the like. I think it's really nice. So, thank you both for being here. I hope you do both have wonderful rest. Uh, a rest of your Sunday. A wonderful rest in general. And we'll see you guys. We'll, we'll see you guys next time. Um, the stream helps me with my increasing. I, uh, I hope, I hope so. I mean, I hope to be, um, I, I, I can cure nothing. I can promise no cure at anything, but I, I hope to be able to have conversation with you that is something that you enjoy. It's kind of there-ish. I feel like I have to go all the way around this, though. How big is it? It's kind of big. Let's see. That was loud. I'm sorry. I'm going to wager that Anna has gotten back home. Yeah! 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 I was going to see if we could find one more Colossus, but if not, we may have to call it. <laughs> We'll see you soon, Miss Maggie. Video streams help me out too, and he abandoned me and he stopped. <laughs> Another one. Yep, that's what you do. You blind it for you confuse the, the lizard. To go. Have I hit him none? This is the most slippery lizard ever. There we go. I have to do any more? Just sink into the ground. Okay. I was like, oh my goodness. I like killing I like getting the little lizards. I think that's good. Um do you like Doctor Who comics and all that and the books? Agroscare. He seems to be, I guess. I, I was trying to get that one and it was difficult, but I know for every one I get, I get more grip strength, so it's worth it for me to sit down and and mess up uh, several shots. I don't want to promise anything, but I might stealth drop a new temporary channel this week. Ooh, that would be awesome. It was said here first, but I won't. I won't. If you don't want, I won't perpetuate. I mean, I can once it's done, I can always perpetuate whatever you want me to do with that to help kind of get it out there. If you want me to, I am happy to. That'd be awesome. Uh, 
Uh, new temporary channel? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I said, I was going to say, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think it would be really. Uh, I think it'd be really cool to see some. I, I'm. I'm. I'm really excited. I mean, I miss. There we are. I miss seeing your your uh, like your old stuff, right? I I, I miss the uh, the content that you had up. I I thought it was really good. So. Um. Fiddy wants to go off your rounds. Take the claws off. Loud. I'm ready. I I I wanted to I wanted to uh, see more of that kind of stuff, and then I know you kind of had gotten burnt out and and all that, which I understand. And that's I, it's kind of part of the reason that when it comes to video making, it's 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 one of those where I'm not like I'm, I, they say uh, keeping a regular schedule is is one of the more important things. For me, I'm I get that to some extent, but that, at the same time, it's like if you're doing it. To keep up with the schedule, then you almost you almost inject more stress into it. You can't spin around as quickly as these things can move. Got it. I didn't. There we go. Now I got it. Um, it, you almost inject more stress into it, though, when you're trying to do that. I cut out 70% of the channels. I used to... Hold on one second. I gotta... There we go. <laughs> I got to wholesome, wholesome, not to worry. But he wants to go. <laughs> okay, yeah. They're trying to overtake my bottom screen. I have a, I have some bats that are at the bottom of my screen that I let fly in on occasion that I thought they might, but I just stopped playing games. It's because I, well, and I'm not saying I can't say why you might have started stop playing games, but I can say why I understand why people do stop playing games, and it's because for me. I think people, firstly, negative game media, constant negative game media. I don't think that's a lizard, but oh, it is. Figured I might as well take the shot. Um, I think a lot of I, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of people. Okay, let me. I still have to go deeper in. Um, hmm. I guess let's keep going. It's, it's, I think people get, there are too many games, firstly. I think there are too many games, I think, that have come out, and, and there are a lot of them that are good, right? Because we have the technology to do that. And then uh, I think there's a lot of pressure to play all of the new games because otherwise you're almost kind of not in the social. You're almost not in the social. Uh, the, the social no. Unless you play every new game as it comes out. Dang it. I don't think I can get. Can I get up there? Maybe. Does it let me grab on? Nope. Really? I love that he's always just like, oh, what about me? If he wasn't impervious to my arrows, he would have been gone multiple times. There we go. Okay. 
Um, I, but anyway, I think that there's that. I think that there's a lot of negative game media, which makes almost every game look less appealing than it actually is. I don't think people account that people may have fun just in general versus, I mean, I think it's, and if you play a game and you enjoy a game that most people do or vice versa, if you don't enjoy a game that almost everybody does, you're almost considered anathema. You're almost just considered a, a, like a pox. Oh, you don't like Breath of the Wild? Well, then you're not part of my clique and it's, it's really disappointing. And, um, or, oh, oh, you like, you know, one of mine, one of my, one of the ones I like that is not a very good one, but it's still fun is uh, Might and Magic um, Elements. It's not a good game, but I think it's cool. And it's, you know, back then it was like, oh, no big deal. But then nowadays it's almost like, ah, oh, you like that, you know. So there's a lot of unnecessary undue pressure, I think, when it comes to... Um, there's a lot of undue pressure, I think, when it comes to gaming. So do it for fun and it becomes great. If not, continue doing it for fun. Exactly. Um, when mine retro and Gareth's channel blows up, I'll take 85%, <laughs> but we'll still be doing it for time. Marshall's are 75%, mine too. <laughs> uh, I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I know, for I tried auditioning for Finding Nemo, but they didn't like the way I said mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mine. The seagulls. Um, part of me wants to make a games media group so much, but I just don't have it in me to keep up with everything. I have more trouble keeping up with everything too, BRB. Oh, no worries. Hmm. Callisto Protocol's good. Order 1886 is good. They're short game. One of them, well, Callisto Protocol, not as much, but uh, the Order is a very short game, but it's a good game. Is it... Is it worth the money, you know, the $60? Eh, that's up to you. For me, it wasn't quite worth the full price, just because I felt like that uh, I had a lot of fun for... A very little amount of time, but it was certainly a good game. And I, I get it. I know that we... Uh, one thing that Ash and I, I, I know you and I disagree on, is uh, that the length of the game doesn't really matter. To me, I, I think that there should be at least some... Like, I feel like if I'm paying for something to occupy my time positively, that it should at least occupy a decent amount of my time. Positively, but... Uh, but I can also respect that that's not always the case. It's, so it's pointing straight to the ground. There's got to be a way in there. Speaking of Agro CC, I've caught up on the other show I've never seen before, Puberty and Blues. Ooh. And I always think, do we really talk that way as teens in the 70s? Yeah. I, I, um, Australian, um, slang and, and the like has not ever been my forte, so I couldn't say. <laughs> um, I know that uh, that American slang has almost come all full circle. Um, groovy, tubular, all that kind of stuff has actually come back. Uh, that was kind of what it was in the 70s, and now it's kind of come back and is, is in use now. I'm not sure. It's telling me that it's in the ground somewhere. That's what it seems to be saying, right? But I don't see how to get into that, so I guess follow this. And they say shut up a mall like a lot. What even is a mall? I couldn't tell you. But then again, I couldn't. T I mean, I know what the intended purpose for the word is, but we don't call people that we find to be uncouth, you know, bogans. Um, <laughs> we just call them uncouth. <laughs> so there, there are a lot of unique things about um, Australian slang, I think. There, there are a lot of those types. I, I like. I mean, what was the JonTron video? The, <laughs> the, the JonTron. Uh, oh, I can't remember which one it was. Sports games, the one he did with sports games. And he was like the one that said, "Let's drop in on a grommet." And he's like, "What even is a grommet?" Oh, you couldn't stop me from saying the word and grommet this, grommet that. What does grommet mean? You know, it's kind of like that. Where I, I that was just from the the eighties, I guess, but. So I, I'm st I, I like John Tron. His new stuff is is okay, but man, I really liked his old stuff. Like I miss his video game stuff. 
I mean, it's 2024, you're not allowed to like. I don't. I like John Tron. If people don't like me because I like John Tron, then that's their narrow mindedness, not mine. He has. He had a political. Ah, oh, this is the thing. He had a political conversation. He's not a politician. He's not a debater. He said things that were probably better left unsaid. You know. But, eh, whatever. He said what he said. He said his, he, he, he made a video afterwards trying to set, I think it was called setting the record straight. He tried to speak more articulately. I can, I, I, I feel like he got heated and got emotional, which is not a good thing to do in a debate. And I think that means, or that made him say things that he knew he shouldn't. And he got back and he set the record straight, and with what he said on the record straight, I could sit there and go, Oh, yeah, I can understand that. That's fine. And then he said, I'm going to stick to not debating, and then he didn't. He makes some random tweets that I may disagree with on occasion about a political thing, but I don't follow him for politics. He's a comedian, and I think he's funny. If I started making political content, you would probably do the same. You'd be like, oh, okay, I don't care about his political content, but I like him, but he's... he's well, I don't know if I... I'm not very funny. I don't know if I have any qualities that you'd come back to me for. <laughs> but, you know, that could be worse. Okay. Now I'm in the water. Okay. As I was say, if it's not up top, it's got to be down the bottom. <laughs> oh, this Colossus can be a bit annoying. This is going to be the last Colossus that I can do for this stream. So let's hope that I can... Uh-oh. It's an electric eel Colossus? <gasps> Ooh, that's kind of cool. I have no problem with JonTron whatsoever. Okay, <laughs> as I say. It didn't help that the guy who debated is a complete tool is obsessed with negativity and gotcha moments. Oh, Destiny. I watched Destiny do a debate um, day before yesterday. He de debated uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson, and it kind of devolved into some stuff. And, you know, I mean, I have opinions. I'm not going to share them here because it's a complex issue that is separated by... I don't know why it keeps twisting me around. It is a complex issue that's separated by land, and I can't, you know, it would be very difficult for me to say you should sympathize when your circumstance isn't going to be the same, but... Eh. Destiny is... is uh, Destiny definitely is a much more... I, 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 would dis, I wouldn't disagree with you that he's a, a fairly pessimistic individual. What am I supposed to do? Retro hates everyone who isn't white. No, I don't. I don't hate. Um, I what is the what was the phrase that was always used? I don't I don't discriminate. I hate everybody equally. Um, no, I don't. I don't. I don't have any sort of that. That's not a factor of my like or dislike of anyone. I can tell you that for certain. I know, of course, you're you're joking, but. Okay, so how do I how do I get his attention? Because he's in the water. Bullets can't travel much more than about six feet underwater. I don't think they can go that far. I think they can only go three feet before they de-escalate. So arrow certainly can't go very far. What do I do? <gasps> Wait a minute. His tail came dangerously close to the surface. Surely not. I've not played Destiny, by the way. No, we were talking about the guy. Destiny. There's a debater on YouTube. He was a gamer, I think, originally. He played, like, League of Legends and stuff, and then he became a political debater full-time instead. And, um... He seems to be... I agree, he does seem to be more kind of negatively orientated in his viewpoints. He would say, he would call it pragmatism. I... I think he, I think he attempts to be a centrist, and that's fine. Okay. Have to figure out how... He, I'm swimming on the surface of the lake. He didn't seem to want to come over here, though. He comes across one of those guys who's... Uh, it's friendly with his wife's boyfriend. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Well, I, I think he said he has... I think he did say he has an open marriage. 
So that's possible. Each to their own, never in a million years for me. Well, I would, I mean, I don't, I don't like the idea, me personally, I don't like the idea of open marriage, because then what was the point of the marriage for me? I, I get it, it works for some people, but for me, it's like, if, if you wanted it to be open, then why get married? That's a lot of paperwork for no good reason. And if something doesn't work out, and, and the more people you integrate into the circumstance, the more likely it seems like jealousy could be a factor, then it sounds, it seems to me like you might potentially have um, a lot more property that you'd lose unless you had someone sign like a prenuptial agreement. I don't know. It seems very complicated, more so than I would be willing to deal with, but it's not my life. I am I am married and I'm happy with whom I'm married, so I or to whom I'm married, so therefore not necessary to worry about all that. Okay, so what do I do now? Aha. Oh well, now well, this could be tricky because I not only have the grapple mechanic, but I have it. I have to contend with air. I don't, I don't understand. I'm sure that whatever the thing is that I'm meant to have to get away from is on the... on the head. So otherwise it wouldn't make much sense for me to have to go this whole way, right? Those things also seem not very good. I don't know how close I'm allowed to get to them before it hurts me, though. Oh, the answer is not much. Not at all. Is that a sigil right there? Oh, it is. Oh, but when he's out of the water, it doesn't do anything. I get it. Okay, so I have to be careful for when he goes into the water. Stab the sigil. Okay, I think I get this. Okay, I don't know if I broke it, though. That didn't seem to do very much. So that may have been the only thing that that one was intended for, is to break that one thing. I don't... Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know if I got... Did I get him? I may have to try that again. I think I got him. Yeah, I got him. Okay. Sorry. Did he? I had no idea. What a guess. <laughs> True enough. Um, Retro recommended uh, open marriage to Anna with me. The plot twist, Anna wasn't even involved. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I don't remember this boss. I remember this boss for constantly pulling me into the water. Like, just let me get to the sigil. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I need to get to the surface. Okay. Yeah, you run out of grip strength twice as quick because you, um, you run out of grip strength twice as fast because your grip strength is also your air meter. But if I have to start all the way back on the far end of the tail, I'm going to be in trouble because... Um, I mean, I, I don't know if I'll be able to climb all the way back up there in one. Maybe I will, but I don't know. Are you excited? Yeah, I am. I am certainly excited. Come on up to the surface, man. There we are. Come all the way up. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine.
Okay, I'm on. So what a camera view, what a camera angle, huh? Now I need him to stay near the surface for me, and I need to be able to run up to that last sigil up there, but even still, that doesn't take much of his, uh... Let's see if I can... He doesn't run very fast when he's, like, uh... I get why he doesn't run fast while he's under the water, I get that, but, like, he doesn't run very fast otherwise, either. wasn't close enough for that to make a difference, thankfully. There we go. Okay, so the last one is up on the head here. Okay. I just don't need him to die for extended periods of time. Oh, shoot. Come on, let me up. He doesn't go up long enough for me to... He doesn't stay up to the... It doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay, that did fine. I, I got it right before we went back underwater. There! Okay, that wasn't awful. That I thought that was going to be a lot worse than that ended up being, thankfully. Colossus, when I want to go swimming, I'll ask for it, but because, but because now I forgot my swimsuit. Nice. <laughs> One fan. <that's> <laughs> coming coming to an internet near you. I remember the boss for... Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, I was just saying, I'm excited. We have one. I'm excited for it too, though. I'm excited to get to talk about fun things again, like fun games. Like one of the things that always stays on the top of mind. You're reading this better than I thought you would. No, I, even if it were backhanded compliment, it's still a form of compliment, and I'm okay with that because I didn't think I was going to do very well at this either. The way I got my first, the, the start with those first ones. Right? So, I mean, like, I certainly wasn't, I wasn't winning any, uh, I wasn't winning any medals with that first, the first episode, was I? Oh, I think so, too. I think it's going to be great. I mean, I'm excited about that. I'm excited to get, to get to talk with you guys. And then we also have really, um, similar things that we want to do, but also really different things. I, and, and I like something that, and I don't know if this will be the outlet for it, but something that's always really stuck out to me that I really like I like the idea of talking about retro games. I don't think that's a shocker to anybody, as I am retro. But I am um, excited about being able to talk about things like hidden gems. I, I hope that that'll be something I get to talk about, right? I mean, but that's just like, like getting to talk about games that nobody played that I feel like need to be played. I welcome retro game talk. That's, it's, I like... There are so many games out there that I think have not been played that I think should be played, and nobody knows about them. Again, Vice Project Doom for you was one that I think we kind of hit the nail on the head with, but there are so many. I have hundreds more. A tale trapped within the pale of a deep, uh, deep within the forest. Okay, all right, we'll see what happens. So there are sixteen of the col there are sixteen colossi. We have seven of them down, so it's almost halfway there. Have you played Prison City yet, by the way? I don't think... I don't think so. I think I've downloaded it, but I don't think I've gotten to play it yet. You would love it. I am... I'm excited to... Uh, I'm excited to give it a shot. I, I've... Tr I try not to overextend myself with games so that I can enjoy the ones I have so far. So right now, what I've been doing is playing, obviously, Shadow of the Colossus and Cuphead for the stream. And then I've been playing... Uh, off, off the stream, I've been playing, like, Super Mario RPG for... Switch, the new one. Um, that's pretty well it. I, well, I, I, I mean, I go back and play levels of Super Mario Wonder with, with our daughter, but that's that's pretty well it. 
You're, no, I think that that was the last one. I was going to see if the tablet was near so that I could uh, manually save just to be sure that nothing was lost. Just in case something went wrong, but I, I don't remember where that um, tablet is. So I guess we're going to have to trust the system. Uh, I am enjoying this game. It, it definitely is... is uh, Three more bosses until the stream ends. That, that, that would be... If I were doing an all-day stream, for sure. I, I feel like this is a game that... It, once you have the hang of it, I feel like this is a game that... Could probably be beaten... Oh, there it is, right there. Um, could probably be beaten in in a, in a one-day, you know, very long stream, I, I feel like, but... There we go. But I, I was having fun with it. I, th I was doing a lot better. I, I did do a lot better this time than I did the first episode. I had a lot of fun with it. I like the different Colossi designs. Um, or the different Colossus designs in that case, because it is independent. Uh, but I think that's really good. I'll go get snacks and be back for it, back ready for it. But so many good things. Hmm. Are you off for more travel this week? Uh, a little bit. I won't be terribly far away from the... I won't be terribly far out of pocket this week, thankfully. A little bit. We're getting stuff geared up because we have about four weeks to go before uh, we have a lot of travel that's going to have to happen, right? So um, I probably won't be traveling this week, maybe not the next week, but the following week I probably will. And then after that, um, I'll probably be here, and then the next two weeks Anna will be traveling. And so during those two weeks I may stream more frequently just because it'll occupy any time that I have that you know I normally would get to spend with Anna but would, won't get to because she will be out of state. So I may stream a little bit more frequently. I may stream more, uh, you know, I may pass Shadow of the Colossus. If I haven't passed Shadow of the Colossus by that time, which I think I probably would have. At this point, we're pacing to do it in about three more episodes, I guess. Uh, I would wager that, I personally would wager that we'd probably pass it by maybe the third week of April, second week of April, sorry, at the rate of one per. Um, I think that's probably where we would end up, so not that big of a deal. But if not, that'll be the case, and then I'll start a new series. Um, we'll we'll do a uh, we'll do a, a, a do stream Hell Divers two one day. Oh, I'll definitely get Hell Divers two. I was a big fan of the first one, so I definitely will. Um, but we, um, yeah, we'll I'll we'll, we'll I'll put a I'll probably put a new poll up with some new stuff, and we'll see who what what happens to the next um, what happens to the next game and all that kind of good stuff. I have uh, for for those of you who didn't know, uh, and Vidi, for same for you. If you happen to ever pop in, I don't know how how often you pop into the Discord, but if you happen to pop into the Discord, we have a polls channel where I'll put up a poll, and it'll have um, some games that I think might be fun to play. If you want a voice on what one you might like to see played, uh, or if you have an interest in, in any of them over the other, um, please feel free to do that. The Shadow of the Colossus was one that was voted for. It just barely beat out the Star Wars Dark Forces remaster, so... Uh, who knows? Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster may go in and and be get, you know get the second vote. Who knows? But let's go ahead and change this over. Get ourselves some nice music. Um, yeah, it's some 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 different things that uh, the, the way that we're doing it now. I mean, it's so much more sophisticated. And thanks, of course, to everybody who helped create and maintain the Discord. Um, I, I look to try to put, uh, put um, and I want to put things out there for you guys too, because especially when it comes to people like yourself who are retro gamers and people that are enthusiasts, if you feel comfortable doing it, please don't if you don't feel comfortable, but if you do feel comfortable doing it, I love to see posts and pictures of odd games that you have, collectibles from games that you have, collector's editions, rare games that you have, you know, stuff like that. And then, of course, like I said, I have polls, so once we finish this game, I'll put up a poll to see what the next game you guys want to see is. If we alternate Cuphead back and forth, I might not be done with uh, Shadow of the Colossus until that time, that end of the April era, you know, uh, area, time. But but anyway, if you have interesting things that you want to show off, please do. Please please take pictures, show them off, show off, you know, those uh, collectibles, those rare games in your collection, those hidden gems that you think everybody should play that you don't know that enough people know about. Um, I love seeing that kind of stuff, and it's really cool, as well as, not necessarily anything that has to be done, but if you have games that you have um, excessive amounts of, or you've had your fill of, and you feel like they're good games, and you might even want to try and trade, um, I've, I've had the pleasure of getting to send some stuff to some of the people um, that are on the Discord. I won't 
out anybody um, and say who because I don't know if they would want to, but send stuff to them. And um, and that means it's just as easy as getting to swap in that way. It's really cool. I think that's really cool. So, um, But anyway, I hope you guys have all had fun. A huge thank you to everybody who, for being here, for Ma- to Maggie, to Bogus, to Viddy, to Ash, to Thumb, for all being here, for having uh, kept me company and for allowing me to keep you company. I do hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your Sunday for Viddy, the rest of your Monday. I hope goes very, very well. And then I do hope that you all had fun playing this. Again, if I don't stream, for those of you who come in after the fact, I thank you for being here. And uh, thank you for getting all the way to the end, where we are at this point. But if you are interested in content like mine, that I would condone and put my whole everything behind, uh, or, you know, my whole vote of confidence behind, there are links down below, which will lead to, um, which lead to Viddy, uh, Viddy's gaming videos and Viddy, ga- uh, Viddy's, Viddy's gaming videos and Viddy plays, goodness, um, where Viddy's gaming videos has got a great backlog of, of stuff. Viddy plays has some cool new recent stuff, some Resident Evil 5 co-op stuff that's really awesome and worth watching. We have Ash for upcoming stuff down there. There's a channel that will help you keep in tune as closely as, as anything else might be able to on what he's going to be up to in the near future. Thumb Bros for awesome retro gaming and having fun, but also some really nice Let's Learn, Let's Play, and speedrun style strats. Uh, Twitch and YouTube are down below if you'd like. Uh, there is also Omega Ace Gaming, which is a phenomenal, uh, he's, he's a phenomenal gamer who games just kind of what he feels like, and it's always a lot of fun to go and pay him a visit. And then, of course, my beautiful wife, the Siren Ivy, who's begun her streams, picked her streams back up. She streams predominantly on Twitch. Um, so I've put the Twitch link down there so that you can find her live recently. She's been doing some really cool and interesting stuff with mods and The Sims. But she does play a little bit of everything, and so you are always welcome to go see. She streams more frequently than I do. I believe she usually has a kind of weekly schedule. So if you have interest in seeing that kind of stuff, go give her a view as well. I, I, would, uh, I, I would heavily encourage it. Uh, from there, I hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your day, a wonderful rest of your week, and I hope that we will get to see you guys next time.